Hello guys, welcome to AutoX. So recently Harley Davidson launched their all new soft tail range. We got to ride most of the bikes in Spain, but we didn't get a chance to ride the fat boy. But now we have the fat boy, which is the most important bike of the range. So today we are in Rajasthan, we rode the bike around and we are going to tell you how much better it has become. As you can see, we also have the fat bob on this occasion. However, we've already tested the motorcycle and you can watch its review on our YouTube channel. Coming back to the fat boy, now one of the reasons why it's so popular is because of its big cruiser look. So with the 2018 model, Harley hasn't really changed the design much. But yes, many elements have been refined so as to make the motorcycle look even brawnier than before. For instance, it retains the signature disc wheels, but they now come short with fatter tires. 160mm at the front and 240mm at the rear. Then there's the front headlamp. It's a familiar round shaped unit, but it now comes with a full LED setup and it looks quite upmarket. And yes, as you can see, there's a lot of chrome everywhere, but honestly, it doesn't look over the top here. In fact, I think the fat boy looks stunning with all that shine. The main highlight of the 2018 fat boy is the new 1745cc Milwaukee 8107 V2 engine. Now it develops 144Nm of torque at 4000 RPM. And as per Harley, this new motor helps the motorcycle accelerate 10% quicker than before. And that's quite evident when you open the throttle. The motor is super responsive from the get-go and between 3000 to 5000 RPM, the Milwaukee 8 provides a solid kick. Not only the performance, the refinement levels have improved vastly as well. You can cruise at triple digit speeds all day long and the engine never ever feels stressed. The 6-speed gearbox is another surprise. It feels mechanical for sure, but it isn't clunky anymore. There are perceptible vibrations from the handlebar, but nothing stressful really. The chassis of the new fat boy is 34% more rigid and helps reduce the weight by 16 kilograms. Having said that though, the fat boy isn't a light motorcycle to throw around since it weighs over 320 kilos. And while straight line speed isn't a problem, around corners you do feel that extra mass. On top of that, the super fat rear tire doesn't help the case either. You really have to wrestle the motorcycle around tight bends, and last minute inputs can really upset the balance. The fat boy is not supposed to be a corner cover though. It's meant for high speed cruising, and that's one area where it simply excels. With the new dual banding valve front fork and an underseat motor shock, the ride quality is simply excellent. The seat is super comfy and the riding position is relaxed as well. Out on the open road, it feels as if you're riding a sofa on wheels. Yes, at high speeds, you do experience a lot of wind blast since there's no screen, and the low ground clearance also means that you scrape the underbody over speed breakers. However, apart from these two drawbacks, the Fat Boy is one thoroughly enjoyable cruiser. So after two days of riding the fat boy, we are now heading back to Delhi. And I have to say that I'm really impressed with the bike. So it gets the new Milwaukee 8 engine and it has really worked wonders. The first thing is of course the throttle response, it's fantastic, it's crisp. And then there's the gearbox. The shifts are precise, it's smooth now, it's not clunky anymore and it works really well. Overall, we are really, really impressed with the bike. And if you're planning to buy one, you should really go out and take a test ride. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.